Hey, good morning. This is uh, Thursday, April 16th. Um, I'm at home. Um, Jayla and I are working on schoolwork. I'm a teacher today as well as a pastor. And uh, we're talking about creativity. And one of the things that I think um, we need to do with this idea of, of creativity is, is going back to where we started. In the beginning, God created. He's a creative God and he's a writer of incredible stories. He is a um, creator of in incredible pictures. He, he is the best artist, the best, um, you know, uh, experience. Um, per, like he, he, every part of his creativity is greater than ours. And uh, sometimes um, we have to partner with God in order to um, experience his creativity in our life. Let me put it this way. God has a story written for us. God is, is not only just creating in the large scope of things, he's creating in our life. He's, he's doing things in us that, are, that, that the Bible says are beyond our thoughts or imagination. That uh, God has a picture of things that are bigger than ours. Like God, God has beauty in the midst of whatever we're experiencing in life. And, and even now as I'm doing schoolwork with Jay or as the kids are home or as church has transitioned, um, God, God has the creation, um, has created in the midst of that. And sometimes it's not so much me um, creating something myself. Sometimes it's me saying, God, what do you want to create right now? God, well, how do I partner with you? How do I, how do I release your creativity in my life? I know that I can create something, but your creation is going to be so much better, so much bigger, so much more beautiful. And, and I say that not in the, the macro sense of, of like God's going to do something huge in the midst of this. I'm, I'm saying like the hugeness of a seed. Like sometimes... We, we picture things and we're like looking at it from the large scope of like God's going to do some amazing picture. He's going to do a healing. He's going to do um, some kind of like miraculous uh, creation in our life. That it's it's going to create a movement in our world that we're going to be life changing. And a lot of times, sometimes God does that. Sometimes God is more creative in allowing a seed to take root, um, being creative in that seed. And allowing the seed to grow, and a lot of that we don't even see sometimes. What I'm saying is, uh, the scripture says, don't don't despise small beginnings. Don't God's creativity goes large and small, um, and all sorts of um, things in between. And so we can't despise um, the creativity, even in the small things right now. In the in the investment in our kids, as we sit at the school table, um, going over and playing those things that we may never really see may have the largest impact in their life and in others' lives. And so this idea of creativity is, is becoming creative ourselves because we are in the image of God. But part of that, I believe, is submitting to the God of creation and allowing him to create in our life. Um, and w as I was thinking about um, this, I guess we call this a crisis. Um, for some people, it's a major crisis. For some, it's just a, um, just a problem in front of us. But uh, God does a lot of creative work in crisis. Um, God pivots us. God changes us. God um, creates beauty in us. The only time that we really, we don't change in the good times. We have a hard, very hard time um, moving and changing. But, but it's in the, the crisis moments that God does his greatest work in our life. He, he moves us. He changes us. He molds us. He, he chisels things away. He prunes us. And, and I just, as we, we talk about this idea of creativity, to allow God to percolate something beautiful in your life. Let him create something amazing. Let, partner with him. Seek him. Say, God, what are you doing? What, 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 what areas of my life do I need to create right now? Maybe God releases you into writing. Maybe God releases you into this area. Maybe God says, I want you to be still. And this kind of, I want to create beauty in you, in you, not what you, what's coming from you. Um, God is at work in our life. And in this crisis time, one of the greatest things you can do if you want a beautiful story, a beautiful picture of your life, is to allow God to write a story and just partner with him. Say, God, all right, what do you want me to do? And I want to end with a verse um, that we talk about a lot here um, at church at Higher Hope. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we, immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine creativity, to him be glory. And God, God wants to take the glory. God wants to do incredible things. And, and his piece of work in your life, we are God's poema, we are God's poem that he's working on, is going to be greater than anything that you can do. And so rather than just trying to strive hard of being creative, um, and, and we, need to, we need to create that way, 
let's seek God and see what he has for us to create in this season and what he's doing in our life. Let, 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 let's partner with God in his creativity.